Hi, welcome, and I hope you're doing well. Here I have the MSI gaming laptop, and the model for this is MS-16R3 or GF63 Thin 9SC-649US. In this video here, I'll be doing a teardown step-by-step -step tutorial on how to maybe change the battery, upgrade your M.2 drive, uh, upgrade your RAM or maybe change the keyboard or change the motherboard things like that so it's a complete teardown step by step and I'll walk you through the process so before you continue watching the video um, if you have problem with the laptop and you found this video let me guess it I'm correct so please click the like button subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell because that really helps me to make more of this repair video for you in the future if you have a different laptops um, yeah so if you're watching this video for your own self repair um, you know or guidance please click the like button alright so let's begin and let me flip it around here so the first thing I'll be doing is to remove all the screws the screws are actually a Phillips screws so any uh, Phillips screwdriver would do but if you're interested to know that what screwdriver I'm using this is actually um, electric screwdriver I do not know I do not have to uh, you know turn turn it around I just press the button and it will just spin and remove the screws from me so uh, I have a factory seal here I'm gonna break it and because my laptop here is actually more than a year old so I wouldn't be getting that manufacturer warranty I'll go ahead and break the seal so far all the screws are all the same so you can mix match the screws for the back cover you don't have to um, no wish screw goes where alright so there you have it all the screws are removed the next step I'll be doing is to remove the back cover So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to stick in between that plastic cover, try to find a soft opening. So far it looks like the, uh, the opening are pretty tight. And I like to work by the corner, where the corner is, usually where the soft openings are. Alright, there you have it, the back cover just removed. So I wanted to point out to you that when it comes to like those HDMI ports or maybe by your um, headphone jacks or the USB, you try to be careful not to pull and yank the, the connector. You just want to lift and tilt the, the way that it will slide away from it, right? So you try not to pull it and yank it on the, on the back cover. Now once you remove the back cover, pretty much you can see the entire computer here. So this is your RAM and right now they only have one RAM installed. So this is the second slot, you can actually add additional RAM to it. Now um, this run on a DDR4, to, to remove the RAM you just push the two uh, metal clipper to away from each other, the, the RAM will just pop right up. So this is run on a, the uh, PC4 stand for DDR4. This is an 8 gigs RAM. You can actually add 8 and 8, so you can up go up to 16, or you can do 16 and 16 up to 32. Now to install it, you just slide it and push it in. The clipper would lock it on for you. Now this is actually the uh, the main battery here. So to remove the battery, the connector is just 
uh, kind of like slide down there's no uh, any clipper or any secure tab that holds on to it uh, it's pretty straightforward you slide it down and you should be able to remove the uh, the battery I just want to make sure that the battery is not taped onto uh, it's slightly double-sided tape just to be honest with you it looks like these are the double-sided tape um, slightly just lift it up and then the connector here just slide it down towards your body it looks like it's a little bit difficult to slide down so I'm using the plastic prying tool to push it down the same time I'm pulling it down as well so hopefully there you get it so I kind of like push it down or slide it down towards your body to remove the battery now if your battery is not holding the charge if you see like the battery is swollen or like a lump on the battery this time you, you need to replace the battery now if you're looking for the model number here is BTY-M6K that is the battery replacement for this model alright so here you pretty much see that let me see that is the touchpad connector TP stand for, stands for touchpad so um, here is your M.2 SSD drive to remove it just go ahead and get a Phillips screwdriver remove that one screw lift the M.2 slightly up I know that it's a little bit sticky the reason why it's sticky because they do have a thermal pad the thermal pad is actually some kind of like a a it acts like a sticky glue that stick onto the back of the uh, the M.2 drive so you need to slightly gently and lift it up slowly and then once you have it at about 45 degree angle you can slide it to your right and that's how you remove the M.2 now I make a separate video in my channel that says how to clone M.2 drive or how to clone M.2 to a larger drive go ahead and look it up google that up uber geeks how to clone an M.2 drive uh, it will show you on how to clone the M.2 drive I have all the tools, the USB connector the software, Acronis on how to migrate your current existing hard drive to a larger M.2 drive without losing any of your data any programs, any settings it clone identical from one old drive to a new drive so you should check that out if you want to increase the uh, capacity on your M.2 drive alright so move on uh, I believe this is the graphics card and this is your CPU and this is the heatsink copper heatsink and all go together so let's go ahead and remove that in this process okay so the screw does not come out you can only loosen up the screw let's go ahead and loosen up the screw first So there are four screws on the graphics card and there are three screws on the um, CPU. And the screws on the CPU can actually be removed. So go ahead and remove the three screws. You might feel like it's a little bit hard to remove. Like I said, there's a thermal pad underneath. Where the thermal pad is, it's kind of act like a glue, it stick onto it. So you got to slightly, gently and slowly lift it up and to a point that it will just come up by itself. Now this fan, this CPU fan is also part of the heat sink. So let's go ahead and remove some of the screw that is holding onto the CPU fan. Alright, and this is actually your CPU fan connector. To to open it up, I just kind of pull up straight up, and there's no connect, uh, there's no clipper or anything that holds a connector. It's just a regular connector like that. All right, and this is your LCD screen uh, connector. So you see this little black clipper? You need to flip the clipper up, and slightly slide the cable away from your body, and that's how you remove the uh, LCD connector. Now, once I have the everything ready. 
I can just lift up the entire heatsink and as you can see that the, these are what I call the thermal pads okay so the thermal pad is a little bit sticky uh, when you lift it up now this this CPU fan it looks like it's the entire CPU fan attached to the heatsink so if you're having a bad CPU fan error uh, more likely you need to replace the entire heatsink and the CPU fan for this model, this MSI here. And to look it up, probably you need to Google for this model here. Or maybe look it up. Yeah, just MSI, whatever, the model right here for the CPU heatsink. Alright, so now if you have temperature problem, right? So if you're getting the computer is getting really hot all the time. Or maybe the fan goes on a high speed all the time. You can hear these buzzing noises, right? So it is time for you maybe come and check on your thermal paste. It looks like my thermal paste is all dried up. It's only slightly over a year old. And you can see that the thermal paste is, is dry. It's not moist anymore. So what you want to do is... You want to get one of these alcohol wipes. And use the alcohol wipes and just wipe it down. Uh, once you wipe down the the thermal paste, go ahead and apply with the new thermal compound here. And I'll have all the link in the description below. I uh, use this one better. That one is ran out. So um, I have all the tools, um, the parts, everything in the description below. If you click on the link, it will direct you to Amazon um, or maybe eBay uh, to find the replacement parts. So if you click on that link. Uh, you know, Amazon or eBay would give me like a kickback affiliate, you know, for like a few, uh, few cents to a dollar or so. So that really helps me to, you know, keep me motivated for these um, YouTube videos. All right, uh, let's go ahead and work on the Wi-Fi card. So I'm going to make a little marker here. So I know that these blue dots belongs to the left and then the right has no dots on it. To remove it, I just slightly lift it up, and that's how I remove the Wi Fi connector. Okay, so let's keep the plastic. We might need to use the plastic a little bit later on. So let's go ahead and remove that. Now, here is your CMOS battery, and for those of you who wants to reset your, your BIOS, or you know whatever reason you can just disconnect the CMOS battery but for my case we're not going to do that right so here is a speaker connector so go ahead and slide down that connector downwards to my body like towards to yourself uh, that goes along here that, which is attached to this speaker here so this is the boat speaker left and right they come in one piece you see this black and black and white cable that run across the laptop that goes to the other side this is your left and right speaker Okay, to, to remove the speaker or replace it, you just lift it up and there you go. Now, what I need to do work on is actually remove the motherboard and show you how to change out the uh, keyboard if the keyboard is actually replaceable. Alright, so let's go ahead and remove the motherboard first. So there's one screw here on the top. Second screw. Third screw. It looks like there are only three screws attached to the motherboard. Alright, so let's see if the motherboard can come out at this point. It looks like the motherboard is ready to come out, but something is still stuck in between, right? So let me see what is actually stuck. You try not you, you can't pull the, the motherboard yet until I know what's going on here on the other side. All right, so it looks like there's nothing much here. This is actually one of the, uh, one of the this one right here. I think this, this this little uh, aluminum tape. Sorry, you can't see it on the video. This aluminum tape is actually taped onto the motherboard on that that corner right here. Uh, I think it's just more for the grounding purpose. Uh, there's nothing attached to the cable. Once I remove that, how many screws? Three screws. You can just tilt the motherboard towards yourself. And you can see that the keyboard connectors are still connected to it. Right, so this is your keyboard. This is your keyboard lighting. And this is your touchpad. Um, 
this laptop here I have problem with the touchpad so I'm just receding the cable I flip open that clipper slide the cable out kind of check the cable make sure the cable looks good there's no water damage whatsoever uh, looks good let me go ahead and slide it back in so I having a touchpad problem meaning that when I when I touch the the touchpad the computer does not sense my cursor so I just wanted to check the uh, the cable here so this touchpad runs along and comes back to this touchpad right here so let me go ahead and push it all the way down make sure I have a good contact and then push it back in and have to tape tape it down so that it doesn't move all right so this is your keyboard replacement like I said you know if you have a uh, sorry this is your bad motherboard uh, if you have a bad motherboard replacement this is where you can do it right change out the motherboard the serial here is MS16R31 version 1.0 all right, so if you want to add additional, right? So let's say hypothetically you says, hey, uh, I need to add additional um, additional hard drive. How can I do that? Is this laptop available to do that? Yes, the answer is yes, yes, yes. All right, so let me go ahead and uh, align my motherboard back to the normal position first. Okay, yes, you can do that. You see here on the top left corner, there's another additional slot you can actually ins install the uh, so this is your main one right the m.2 you can install here this here is a smaller version of the uh, m. Uh, m.2 I'll show it to you So like this is the smaller version of the M.2 drive. You can actually insert. Oh, what am I doing? Duh. I'm sorry. This is not the M.2. I thought it was the M.2 for the secondary slot. I'm sorry. This is actually for your Wi-Fi. I apologize. I removed the Wi-Fi without knowing it. But yeah, so if you have a smaller M.2, you want to install it on here, you can as well. Uh, the M.2 is the same right the smaller version instead of the longer version here okay so anyway uh, I apologize about this confused this is actually a Wi-Fi connector not your M.2 now I'll come back to the question is what if you want to increase uh, the secondary storage here you can have the secondary storage right here you can see this is the 2.5 inch uh, SSD drive it does not come with a bay meaning that it doesn't have a tray to it so what you can do is you, you want to install install it right once you install you might want to get like a uh, like a tape or anything to tape it down but to me I feel like it's very firm and secure it doesn't wobble it doesn't move once you put put the back plate back on I think this uh, secondary drive would be very solid uh, it doesn't move or drop or anything so uh, that's one of your if you want to add additional space that's how you can do it all right, so um, if you want to change out the screen, uh, sorry, come back to the keyboard. It, to me, it looks like the keyboard is not replaceable. This keyboard here is actually entire one piece together, meaning that you would have to change the entire, um, you know, the entire, this whole thing, the keyboard, the palm rest, the touchpad, everything together in one big piece uh, by removing the hinge on both sides and then slide away the, the keyboard all together in one big piece. Alright, so uh, this is it and if you have any question, uh, just leave a comment below. I'll try to answer uh, your question if you find this uh, video or tutorial helpful for you, actually help you to fix your problem, uh, please give me a like button. Until next time, please take care. I'll see you again. Bye.